Thanks for staying with us on the conversation. Now we move gears to South Africa, where Yalus Wallace has finally been released from prison on Wednesday to begin serving two years of parole after recovering from being stabbed by a fellow inmate days after the Constitutional Court ruled that Justice Minister Ronald Lamola's refusal two years ago to grant him parole was irrational and unconstitutional. Wallace has said close to 30 years in prison for the premeditated murder of South African Communist Party leader Chris Harney in 1993. The court ordered that he be released within 10 calendar days, but this was delayed to ensure he had recovered from the stabbing. Now, another development, South Africa's tourism minister, Lindiwe Sisulu, has called on the president to resign. Sir Ramaphosa is facing allegations that he covered up the theft of a huge sum of money on his farm. The controversy comes ahead of next month's ANC conference with the president seeking a second term in office. Sisulu said that President Ramaphosa should step down as he was holding the whole party to ransom. Next week, Parliament is due to discuss the issue, and the president, who denied any wrongdoing, could potentially face impeachment. Now, joining us uh, to discuss this uh, live from South Africa, we have Patrick Kadima. Uh, one welcome to you, Patrick, and thanks for joining us on the conversation. Thank you, thank you, and good evening to your viewers. Now, Patrick, how do you react to news of Janice Wallace's release and parole? Are you as outraged as members of the South African uh, Communist Party and the ANC? Um, first of all, um, in terms of the release of this man, um, what I want to say is there's mixed feelings across um, the country, and the mixed feelings are that, um, you know, uh, the judiciary has failed to, 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 you know, to take into consideration the, 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 the context of, of, of the murder, you know, the context of the murder that took place of Chris Honey by this particular, uh, uh, person, uh, uh, Janus, um, you know, and others feel that the judiciary, it was not the responsible of the judiciary to take context of, you know, the murder because the judiciary deals with the laws and legislations that is before it, you know, and it deals with such matters objectively and not subjectively. Because if the judiciary was supposed to deal with issues subjectively, then we would not have an independent judiciary or an independent judiciary that is, that is, or, or expect an independent judiciary as is enshrined in the constitution. So um, there, there is, there is, there is outrage. There is outrage, and we cannot hide from the tripartite alliance. Um, however, if one looks at it from a different angle, from a different point of view, mm. uh, you cannot simply blame the judiciary for this because um, you know it is the judiciary that uh, is dealing with the cases that is before it, you know, objectively and. One more thing is, um, you know, uh, the, 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 the party, the ANC party, which is currently the ruling uh, governing party in the country, um, had the opportunity to pass legislation and had the majority in parliament to pass legislation that will ensure that, um, you know, uh, 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 people such as Janos do not get um, a, a, a parole and so on and so forth you okay, know so patrick um, now looking but, at the anc party i mean you talked about the outreach and the mixed feelings going on in south africa uh, we also have corruption allegations leveled up on the uh, sierra maposa the palapala uh, famgate scandal and we see a uh, major people in dua sisulu uh, calling for the resignation of sierra maposa while the anc conference is just days away so how do we see all this panning out so <laughs> You know, um, the ANC is a broad church, you know, the itself acknowledges that it is a broad church. Uh, and there's a broad church, there's different, there's differing views ahead of the, the, the national conference, which is a few days, you know, and, 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 and um, as, as, as anyone, as any member of any broad church or any political party that is open to different views, uh, members can have different views on issues um, that happened, you know, and for her to say the president should step down is not strange, because if that is her view and and she's part of the ANC and the ANC sees itself as a broad church, 
then she's in her right, you know, she, she, has, she, has, she has the right to, 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 to utter her views. Um, but, um, you know, I don't, I don't see that happening. I don't see that happening a few days before the conference. If it should have happened that the president resigned, it was going to be the day that we all expected that he was going to announce to the country that he was going to resign. But I think after why after he consulted a wide range of stakeholders, um, he was advised not to resign and therefore took that stance and decided that he was going to take the matter on review to the constitutional court, the highest court in the country. So and we'd all know before before you know if one is not found guilty, I mean everyone is innocent before uh, 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 being found guilty. Yeah. So, yeah, that is the situation currently. All right. Thank okay. you so much, uh, Patrick, for joining us in this conversation. Unfortunately, we are far out of time. Of course, we wait to see how everything pans out uh, for Janice Wallace and, of course, for President Syria and Maprosa. Thank you so much for joining us in the conversation. And that's where we'll draw the curtains for today's edition of the conversation. Earlier on, we dealt with situations in Nigeria where conversations are still continuing on the Charlton House uh, representation of uh, Bolak Mechinubu, who is the presidential candidate of the All Progressive Congress, where he exhibited a spirit of teamship and has not gone down so well with the people. But the APC is saying that this has clearly given a very good spirit of teamship for a leader that Nigeria wants. And we just finished discussions in South Africa. Yes, so on the release of uh, Janus Wallace, the killer of the anti-apartheid hero, Chris Annie. Thank you very much for being a part of the conversation. I am Binga Oboroa. And I am Rita Omodia. Bye-bye.